Hi everyone. Hope everyone is well. So I just wanted to make an update video since everyone has been asking and today is the one month anniversary of me being home from the hospital. Um, for those who don't know, they found a blood clot in the artery that goes through my liver. So it was not a pleasant experience to say the least. Um, I was hospitalized for about a month. I had five surgeries in five days and I was in a medically induced coma for two days. So it was not pleasant. And from the coma, I have scars on my neck. Everybody keeps saying, oh, who are you kissing? Hello. It's from being in the hospital. But you know what's funny? Remember the Mari episode when the guy told the girl a roach bit him in the neck and she believed it? I can't. I'm just going to say a roach bit me in the neck. <laughs> I can't. Anyway, I'm stupid. So, um, just an update. Um, I'm home. I'm safe. I'm recovering. I'm on blood thinners twice a day. I can't drink liquor, which is fine. Honestly, I'm tired of drinking. That shit wears me out. I'm good. And I act like an idiot when I'm drunk. So, whatever. No big loss there. So, and I got, is this the mommy shark? This isn't the baby shark. I don't know. This is one of the sharks. Anyway, I got this for my dog because she likes the baby shark song. She howls to it. So anyway, um, at first, the first week home, I couldn't walk. I was very slow moving. Um, I've had a physical therapist and private nurse coming to the house to do my vitals and help me with exercises. So now I'm good. I can actually go out to eat. I can go to the mall, like whatever. Um, but I can't be around crowds of people or anything where I'm going to get bumped into and like get any internal bleeding or bruising, which is fine because it's the COVID shit again anyway. Uh, I really don't need any extra fucking nothing else to happen this year. Um, it's been tumultuous, okay? Um, with my father passing February 23rd, then I had a car accident. Somebody hit me March 9th. Then I had to wait to get my back surgery when everything opened back up. So I had a neck procedure through my back. Then this blood clot appears out of nowhere. Just a lot of shit. And just stuff I don't even want to talk about on top of that in my personal life. Okay. So I'm fine. Um, everyone's been asking me, how are you? And everyone notices the weight loss. Listen, everyone's saying I'm inspiring them to get on their weight loss. I appreciate the compliment and how... You guys are saying I look better than ever. Thank you. I'm still not skinny by any means. I'm five foot nine. Um, I don't. I have no problem sharing my weight. I was two fifteen before. Now I'm down to like one eighty seven. So I don't consider that skinny by any means. Or you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm losing weight because of the blood thinners have curbed my appetite. Also, being in the hospital for a month, the food was worse than the the food in prison. It was disgusting. Like, I was just drinking a little bit of soup. Plus, they would starve me on certain days that I had procedures because I couldn't have no food or drink after 12. And then, you know, take me in the next day at 2 o'clock. Like, yo, you should have put me in fucking first thing in the morning. I'm starving. Hello? So, whatever. I made it through. Thank God. I really didn't think I was going to make it home. All I could think about were the people that I loved and my pets. And when you're going through a situation like that, nothing else matters. Material shit doesn't matter. I didn't give a shit about nothing else but seeing the people I loved again and my pets, okay? So fuck all that shit. Like this shit and all this material shit comes and goes. Like it doesn't matter at the end of the day. So that's the update. I'm doing well, but oh, so I'm trying to tell you guys, um, I'm glad I am, I'm inspiring you to do the weight loss thing, but I'm not working out. I can't even work out my abdominals probably for three months. I'm still healing. Um, I can do leg and arm exercises, which I have to walk. I have to move around to keep my blood flowing because of the blood clot. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to fly again, um, which is fine. Like I need to stay here close to the hospital and the surgeons who treat me. I'm going to get blood work all the time. I'm going to follow up appointments. I haven't driven my car in two months, which is fine because you know what? I'm just not confident yet because of me getting into the whole blood thinner thing. Sometimes I feel a little lightheaded and dizzy. So I don't need no extra shit happening. I'm not chancing it. So um, I really don't go out anyway just to eat or to the doctors or occasionally to the mall a little bit. 
So, um, but everything else is great. Like I, I have a new attitude. Um, I've been reading my Bible every day. And I've always been spiritual. I've always believed in God. I just don't go around preaching about it. But there's been so many close calls in my life that only, you know, God's hand coming through could explain. So, you know, I don't want to be that person who strayed and only says, oh, God, help me when I'm in a fucked up situation. No, I want to praise God every day before my feet hit the floor. Every day in bed, when I'm in bed now, I say, God, thank you for waking me up. Because I really didn't think I was coming home at, at one point in time. But I'm a fighter. I was like, yo, do whatever you got to do. Even though it's much pain I was in. How many needles they stuck me in. IVs. Here I am. So I'm taking it easy. Um, I'm following everything the doctors are telling me to do. Um, I don't want to hear about no home remedies and no supplements. Nothing like that. I can't take anything. The doctors need my blood work to be like clear so we can try to figure out how this happened. Um, and God willing, I'm going to, you know, be weaned off the blood thinner sooner than later. Um, I'm not trying to get too skinny and I don't want to encourage anyone to go starve themselves because I didn't intentionally try to lose weight. I was very confident at what the 215, like I go, my, my weight has always fluctuated my whole life from like a size eight to sometimes a size 14 and 10 or 12 usually being, you know, in between. So if you do want to lose weight, um, do it healthy. I'm losing weight because I'm on a medication that makes me not want to eat as much. I eat like once a day. Um, like tonight I went to city Island, my girlfriend's Jatan and Lynn took me out to dinner. I love you guys so much. My friends have really, really been here. Like the love has been incredible. I'm still seeing text messages and DMs from the end of September, October, when I was out of it in the hospital. Like, some of it was blurs. Like, I, I didn't even know what was going on for some days. I was so drugged up on pain medication. So, if I didn't get back to some of you guys that texted me or, um, you know, that I know, I will um, message you soon. Or I appreciate the love, but I was out of it. Um, but, so that's the update. But please don't go trying to like starve yourselves or no shit. I'm losing weight because of the medicine. But on the flip side, I'm glad the medicine's not making me bigger and swollen and retain water because a lot of medicines could do that. So I can't complain. I went outside yesterday and everybody was trying to talk to me. I'm not bragging, but the weight loss is definitely a good thing and showing because <laughs> I definitely noticed it like... Everybody was trying to talk. Even the waiter at the restaurant was flirting like, ah, ah, ah. So, you know, um, it's a good thing, but I'm not trying to get too skinny. I'm going to start drinking milkshakes and stuff. Um, I think I look great at this weight, but I'm used to being thick. Um, so, you know, and listen, if you are a little overweight, own that shit. Okay. I've been a plus size model for years. I've done runway for plus size, um, companies, editorial work, things like that. So listen, own that shit. Don't try to starve yourself and be skinny and all that shit. Fuck that. I had to learn to accept myself at an early age. Um, cause I always had a big ass. I always had big hips in high school and it was, you know, white guys would make fun of me calling me hippo hips, thunder, thigh, thunder, thunder thighs, buffalo butt. Telling me, oh, Chrissy, you're, you're pretty, too bad you're fat, too bad if you lost 20 pounds, you'd be perfect. No, you got a little dick. How about that? Okay? So I had to learn to take up for myself and for the, the way God shaped me since I hit puberty, like, basically. All the women in my family have big asses, big hips, or shapely women. We're not small. But I had to own that shit early and say, fuck you. This is who, who, I, who I am, how I was made. And um, that's where I get a lot of my confidence. It wasn't easy back then. I used to go home crying a lot because some of the guys that I liked didn't like me because they said I was fat. And I was far from fucking fat. I just had a fat ass when all the other girls in school had a bony nothing. So, you know, I stood out since then. And like I said, own that shit. Like, don't, don't let people tell you, oh, you need to lose weight and shit. If you feel like you want to lose weight, then you lose weight. 
If you feel like you don't look the way you want to look, that's, that's your prerogative. That's when you, you know, you should lose weight if you're not comfortable. For me, I'm comfortable at 215 and I'm comfortable now at what, 187? I'm comfortable either way. But I do like how my bone structure is coming out. Model. I mean, come on. Now you see why I've been a model my whole life? Hello. Because I have the height. I'm 5'9". So, you know, it is what it is. But um, that's, like I said, that's the update. I'm at peace. I'm not mad at any, anyone anymore. Even though my own mother sent me a karma is a bitch text when I was in the hospital almost dying. These people are miserable. Okay. They're not going to let, I'm not going to let any of that energy come in here. Okay. There's just nothing coming in this way. Like nobody can make me mad anymore. Nobody can piss me off. You know, I've had people do disrespectful shit to me. I don't even give a fuck anymore. Okay. Because these people are idiots at the end of the day. So I'm just happy. We're getting the podcast started, getting the YouTube channel. They're both up. So, um, I just got to get, I think I'm going to actually use this as the set, my living room couch. Um, so the podcast is going to be about love, sex, and dating and relationships. And then the YouTube channel is pretty much a little bit of everything. It's going to be fashion, pets, um, what, everything and anything. My stories. You guys love my fucking stories. Oh my God. Everybody asked me to tell my stories. Um, there's so many. And just like me, me reviewing the restaurants, me reviewing, I have my Barbie collection, um, just everything and anything Chrissy related, maybe just even having one of my interns or videographers follow me around for a day in my life. Because a lot of you guys really um, support me and fuck with me hard. And you're like, yo, I love you. I live my life intravenously through you. And you know what? I want to share more of my life with a lot of you ladies. Um, you know, I moved to New York at 29 and had goals in mind and I've made every single one of them happen. And now I'm advancing to another level. So I know a lot of friends of mine, I'm from Baltimore that, you know, had kids earlier, got married young and didn't get the opportunity to sometimes live out their dreams, creativity, creativity, eh, creativity, or, um, continue their education or do you know just do the things they wanted to do and they became a mom and that's great that was their their choice at the time but you know a lot of people now have older children and they're my age and you know they want to kind of get back out there and I kind of want to share how I live because it's never too late to start over it's never too late to reinvent yourself despite you know your past anything I'm living proof I only date younger men, as you guys know, okay, 30 and up. Well, I might even change that to 35 because some of these 30-year-olds, the youngest I've dated is 22, but he lied, okay? <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. He, that's a whole, We'll tell that on story time. He was in the NBA, so I believe that he was older. But whatever, that's a whole other story. Anyway, so um, I think I'm going to up it to 35 and up. Um, but still, it's whatever. You know, you can't really judge the maturity by the age because I've met some younger guys that are super mature and then I've met older guys that are super immature. So whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to even get into that topic, but I'm home. I'm safe. I'm healthy. I'm resting. I'm happy. And I'm making the rest of my life the best of my life. And there's so much to come. I'm working on everything, but just a little bit at a time. I love you guys. Enjoy your night. I know I am. <laughs> Mwah. I love you guys. Thank you for um, being curious about everything and I'm fine and I'll keep you guys updated.